Hello to all my friends out there. This video is how to get through the last week of the month by stockpiling. Okay, the first thing is sandwich a small fruit or a small salad. Uh, this came about because I was trying to help this street guy and, you know, I was trying to get him to the food bank and, you know, I was trying to get him to, you know, like get some help and nothing was helping. Finally, he went to the uh, park and he got a sandwich and a small fruit and a small or a small salad. And within time, it was really amazing how he came out of it. And I realized he was starving, actually and literally starving. So now some people run out of food the last month, week of the month. So this is like a small stack pile. It doesn't cost very much money, but you are not running out of food. Okay, the first one is canned chili or these, these packages of chili mix. And there's all kinds of things you can do with the chili. You can eat it with, uh, you can doctor it up with some hamburger or you can um, add it to some macaroni and cheese or you can top some fries with it or you can top some pasta with it. So the first thing is canned chili. The second thing is refried beans. I bought this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And with this can of refried beans, you can make a big pan of refried beans. If you don't have cheese, you can add a little bit of evaporated milk. And if you have evaporated milk and you have meat drippings, you can make gravy. Okay, so with the uh, refried beans, you can make a lot of burritos. You could eat those with chips, or you can make a taco salad. What I do is I um, I lay the um, refried beans, and then I put hamburger meat, which is usually um, fry hamburger with onion and garlic, and then just make a salad, make a taco salad. Okay, mixed vegetables. So if you have mixed vegetables, and I put this, um, I bought this um, soup today at Walmart. It was marked down to $1.26 a dent a can. But if you have, and, and this is good if you have some crackers. So with the mixed vegetables, why that's good is if you want to make some soup and, you know, you have some kind of meat bones or, you know, anything, cheese, and you can put the mixed vegetables, you can make vegetable soup stews or gumbo and ha I make chicken stew with rice and mixed vegetables and chicken or stir fry. You're going to be able to make stir fry. Okay, number four is tuna. Okay, I, this is Walmart tuna. It's good enough. I recently switched to yellow fin tuna and these are some various packages of fish. Uh, this one is some kind of soy fish. I accidentally bought this because it was more ounces, so watch out for this. Anyway, I just have some various fish in there. So, you know, with tuna, you can make all kinds of things. And I made a tuna melt for lunch today, and I'll show you in a minute. So, you can make uh, tuna sandwiches, tuna casserole, tuna and boiled eggs, tuna salads. Okay, so now... The next thing is corned beef hash. I bought this today at Walmart. What I do is I just buy one or two cans when I go to the store. So the trick would be every time you go to the store, say, okay, I'll get a can of, of chili. Okay, I'll get a can of refried beans or some corned beef hash. So what I make with this is you can sweat down some cabbage with salt and pepper fried in oil and have some corned beef. Or you can fry your hash and have some corned beef hash and eggs. So five is is uh, corned beef. Okay, six is spam. And so you might be going, yeah, well, anybody knows to buy spam. Well, just buy a can every now and then. And you can make stir fry with your spam. You just fry your spam and some scrambled eggs, and some vegetables, and some uh, rice, and, you know, these vegetables do. Salt, pepper, and sugar, and soy sauce, and you're good to go. 
um, spam and uh, eggs spam sandwich. I used to just bake my spams with some baked potatoes and green beans. I mean, you know. And then number seven is potted meat and Vienna sausages. Okay, with the potted meat, you could make it just like the tuna melt. So you have um, an English muffin, potted meat, and cheese. Or sometimes I make uh, scrambled eggs with um, toast and potted meat. And the Vienna sausages, you can put those in top ramen. Or you can fry those and you can... Um, you can have some eggs. So just by having this little bit of food in the stockpile, you're not going without, here's a, you can take a screenshot. The main thing you really want to get into your mind is this. If you have bologna, you know, yesterday I found um, bread in the dumpster. If you have bread, you can make a peanut butter sandwich and a bologna sandwich. Or, um, you know, bread and eggs or bread and tuna. Okay, so now I have, uh, so back to the, um, let's see if I can get this. Okay, very good. Okay, I have some black tea. I buy this um, 100 bags for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then I also have to drink a 25 cent can of soda pop. And then here is my tuna melt. These are good. You got to try these. Okay, this one is, today I bought this um, tuna stuff uh, marked down at Walmart. And these are a dollar for two ounces. So what's good about this, you don't have to add mayonnaise or anything. And then I made a little salad with just three vegetables. I had some lettuce some bean sprouts, and uh, some radishes. And then I have, I try to eat as much balsamic vinegar as I can. So I want to put a goodly amount on to get, vinegar is protective. And then I have some of these onions that I bought at the 99 cent store. So if you have some kind of simple salad and you have the onions, and you have the croutons, you know, and you have yourself a little food, nothing drastic. And, you know, you don't have to buy, you know, if if you have, um, you know, ever seen these videos, buy a year, buy two years, and you're new to stockpiling, everybody starts out here. So once you have kind of a good idea how you could sort of get by, this is not very expensive. I don't think this would be twenty dollars. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight dollars. And that's more than enough food to get you through probably two weeks. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.